Hi, this is Galactic Bacon again, and um, I thought I'd do a video for you today on Cobra Mark III hardpoint loadouts. Um, I'm actually docked at a high-tech station at the moment, McKee Ring in the system of GD219, so there's lots of outfitting options available at this station I can show you, and I can let you see how my Cobra is fitted out at the moment. Now, for those maybe starting out in the game, if you buy your first Cobra, it will probably come with size 1 pulse lasers fitted in these two positions here, right on the top of your ship, and um, probably nothing in these other slots so you then have to make a decision how you're going to fit out the ship. Now, when I started off the game I always kept my lasers on top and I would maybe add a couple of size 1 multi cannons uh, underneath. I tend to always use gimbaled weapons now um, I would not recommend using turreted weapons until you're more familiar with you know how to use them properly. I think for most gamers you know gimbaled weapons are the way to go. You do get more power and more damage from fixed weapons in the game. I'm just not a particularly good shot so <laughs> I think you've got to have a really good aim to be able to use fixed weapons. It, if that's your thing then you know, go with it. I personally prefer the gimbaled weapons. Um, so one of the things I did recently was I swapped over the position of my lasers, which I have primarily for bringing down shields. You can use lasers to bring down a hull, to penetrate a hull as well. They're not as effective as the projectile type weapons like cannons, uh, railguns, uh, etc. But they, they do work, but they're not as effective. So f what I tend to do is um, I've moved on from pulse and burst lasers to beam lasers, which gives you a continuous uh, beam. And they can bring down a shield really quickly, but you must make sure that you have uh, a good power plant and power distribution in your ship, otherwise these are just not going to work and your ship could end up overheating and even blowing up. If you deploy beam lasers and you don't have the power plant uh, available to handle them. So make sure that your available power is more than your deployed power. Uh, always check that when you're adding uh, new weapons or different loadout. Um, so I have moved my beam lasers into the size 1 slots which are underneath the hull of my ship and I put these great big humongous size 2 multi cannons on the top uh, which are very effective in penetrating the hull of most ships um, you know against anacondas and pythons you're always going to be up against it but certainly against uh, you know most ships these will penetrate hull pretty easily um, so class 2 rating F multi cannons actually really cheap when you consider how much damage they do uh, I'll see if I can find the price here there you go 57k credits, not expensive. Um, if you if it's a jump up from size one, uh, I think it was one G multi cannons I was using previously on the other side of the hull, um, and they I mean they are good but not nearly as effective as these big ones. Um, and basically, I've not really lost out in terms of the beam lasers because I've just I had size 1 E's on the top and I've just moved them underneath 
and uh, where are we? They're only 74k each, so pretty cheap. And um, I've done a lot of bounty hunting with this ship. The one drawback with putting your lasers underneath the ship is that the laser does seem to be obscured by the hull. Sometimes, especially if the the ship you're targeting is above the plane in which your ship is flying. So if it's um, a little bit above, sometimes it's out of sight of the lasers and you have to manoeuvre your ship so that you can get uh, a proper target on your ship. The, the other, you know, that's the downside. The advantage is that your multi cannons get a much better view of what's in front of you, being right on the top in front of your ship. So, I mean, it's always a bit of a compromise and uh, you have to decide what's right for you. But uh, for me at the moment, I'm killing lots of stuff with this loadout and I've made quite a lot of money in terms of bounties, um, going into high intensity res sites. Um, since the 1.41 update, I think it was, uh, conflict zones are a lot tougher uh, than what they used to be. If you've ever been in a uh, one of these high intensity conflict zones recently, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, you know, you need a really well equipped ship to be able to survive in one of these uh, in the game at the moment. But um, for res sites, bounty hunting, if you're interdicted by a lone ship, you know, you can take on just about anybody with a Cobra loaded out in this way. Um, a point defence, on odd occasion if somebody launches a missile, just simple point defence is quite handy to have. One thing a lot of beginners forget about when they have point defence, a lot of people say I've installed point defence and it does absolutely nothing for me. One of the biggest mistakes a lot of players make is when a missile is launched and you're trying to manoeuvre out the way, you pull back on the joystick or you move your mouse up, depending on what you use to play the game. Um, so your ship flies up, which means that the point defence on the underbelly of your ship cannot actually see the missile which is behind you. So what you have to do is point your nose down if you're trying to evade a missile and then your point defence will have a good view of the missile and it should work effectively. So uh, that's all for today and um, I hope you've maybe learnt something and um, have fun in your Cobra. Experiment with uh, loadouts and um, I'm planning to tinker about and do some unusual stuff with my loadout uh, in the next few days and when I do I'll perhaps make another video and show you how effective or not effective uh, that may be. Right, bye for now.